my name's Nicholas Okulu. I think generally most people know me for my, one of my projects called Pen People, which stands for People Empowering People, which I founded. And also another project, which is called the Lives the Exchange. Again, another project that I founded and initiated, which is being built on the old Kent Road. I don't think Southwark owns as much land as most people think they do. A lot of us leave a lot of responsibility to Southwark Council, which means that Southwark will determine what their priorities are and how they intend to build things. So, for example, you look at our project, Lives the Exchange, you know, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be a collaboration between Lives the Exchange, Pen People and Southwark Council. And, you know, yeah, they've given us land. But the issue is, you know, I think as communities, we should build up our capacity to be able to manage such land. You know, for me, it's been quite difficult because I think this is really the first time a small community group has embarked on such. And, you know, what I will say is that it's not impossible. I think as communities, we need to learn how to leverage you know, what we want. So for example, instead of going and march, no offence, instead of marching down to Parliament and marching back again, you know, we should all club together, petition our, our councillors, our MPs, and say that piece of land is available. We want it to be only social housing. Let's just say, for example, young people in between leaving their parents' homes and going on to build their own property. Now, if we leave it to the council, the council is going to give it to developers because it means that they don't have to spend any money and developers need to recuperate their money, which means that there will never, ever be enough social housing in Southwark. And I think, you know, the, the problem is, is that we've left everything to, and I will say this, you know, because personally, I don't really care. Um, we've left it to Southwark council officers who don't even live in the borough, who don't know what people are actually going through. So Southwark Council gave me a pop-up shop, which, again, to my own financial detriment, um, I took on board, galvanised a lot of people, also associated it to my Tate project and other things that I was doing. They then gave us the garages just on Old Kent Road. And I think it wasn't a case of saying, oh, the council's not giving us money. It's like, you know what, we've got nothing, so let's start with nothing. So, you know, I've kind of built that up to a place that it's become, to, it's become a go-to place, really. Um, unfortunately, when Grenfell happened, we've got tower blocks just above us. So Southwark decided to give us a piece of land um, that they're not using at this moment in time to build our project, Lives the Exchange, which is what I call Lex2, which only has a 15-year uh, lifespan. Um, and the question was, do you take it or do you not take it? Because everybody's saying, oh, don't take it. They should give it to you for as long as it's needed. But my argument is we've got it, use it, for, you know, for this time, for this period of time. And then also you can actually prove what you're doing and why it needs to either stay or you go on to another place. Again, that goes back to the word leverage. How do you leverage what you've got? That's how we got that site. And, you know, fingers crossed, we're just about to build. But the question is also, once we've built it, the whole issue is, it's about getting people who call themselves creatives, who call themselves innovators, entrepreneurs, to come and do stuff and actually show, you know, the creative, I wouldn't just say the creative, the creative, the educational, the literal value of what we have. You know, I made that mistake thinking that because it's a deprived area, we didn't have knowledgeable people. We didn't have people with the right access and resources. You know, we've got a young 24 year old who's in our, in our Lives the Exchange Lex One, who's just about to do a, a PhD in physics. So for me, it's like, we've, like, we've actually got everything right in our corner. It's just how do you make that connection between all these different people and pull them all together to make it work? And I think that goes back to, to how do you use public land? Do you make suggestions and then tell the council to do it? Or do you make suggestions and show how it can be done?